Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. It's a sheet metal example, and I will show you how to add to sheet metal components rivets. So we create new parts. This is how we will start. The front plane, a sketch. I will make something like this. Let's drop it here. I will press Ctrl, select my line, select origin midpoint. Then I will give my dimensions 80. We should make these two same. I just select two of them, make equal. And here we have a 20 millimeter. We close sketch, ego sheet metal, base flange tab. What we're gonna do here create an extrude of 80 millimeter from mid plane and the material thickness is 2, radius is 2. This is a good approximation uh, having equal radius to the material thickness. And uh, in the features, we're gonna select fillet 5 millimeter. Here, we are going to add fillets. And then here in the center of this fillets, I'm going to add two circle, select them, make them equal, and then I will get dimension which is three. We close this, we say extrude cut through all. We can save this part. BP one one we can call it and then i'm going to create second part in the front plane again sketch now the shape is l form this is 20 this is 100 we close our sketch sheet metal Base flange tab, mid plane, the depth is 80. Then we are going to repeat almost the same operations radius 10, uh, 5, year 1, not on the face, year 1, year 1. In the center of fillets, we are going to add again circles. This two is equal. Here I have three. We can close this. Extrude cut. Link to thickness here active. Same operation here. Sketch on the surface. If you notice that I'm not looking from normal plane, I don't need it. But same thing. Select equal. Now I have a cutted surface. Uh, I can try to make them equal, but they are in different plane. Maybe it will not work. Yeah, it's not working. Let's say they are also here three. Extrude cut. Link to thickness. Close. Yes, I will say to this PP12. And I will open now the assembly and start to bring them in the environment. PP1, PP12. Uh, this is good. Right click, load, because it is never ending in the right place. Origin selected, origin of assembly selected. This is origin, this is origin of part. Made. We align axis, part in the, in the right place. Made the surface here. This hole and this hole concentric. Same thing should happen here as well. 
good. Concentric. So I press Control and I pull part two again. Almost same operation. Made. Select the surface. Select this hole. Select this hole. Concentric. Again. Concentric. And concentric. This is good. Now I will repeat second one. I select this part. I press Ctrl and pull it. I move my mouse simply. And uh, what I'm going to do now, same operation, but I need to add holes to this plate. I click this part, I say edit part, but program says me you should save your assembly first. I will say OK. PP00. Now this part is in edit mode, I can select hole and edit sketch. What I'm going to do here at three line, select all of them and make them construction geometry so they are in the same height. And here also I have alignment. I need to only add my circles and give it a height to pitch in fact. Here 68 and holes will be equal. Okay. When we say okay and save all the parts and close editing mode, that's also comes to the other side. Now we can easily add mates. So I am now going to assign relationship. I tried to pull them, but didn't help. Here, here, and this guy. Okay, good. This is also here. We need last part. Let's measure. If you click Control and select two edge, program going to give you the distance, normal distance, one twenty. Okay, then. 120 by 80 plate should be drawn. What we will do? 120, 80. I select radiuses. 5. This is good. And here I add 3 holes three circles and then they will be whole and then control is pressed and then I will give dimensions three close sheet metal and thickness two save it pp one three window pp zero zero is that see Insert components, PP13, yes. Select the surface, select this guy, it is attached. There is one nice thing, can it happen, I don't know. If you press Alt and select this one, it might give also, yeah, it's happening already. And a uh, relationship here, and again, Alt is clicked. Come here without going to mates. I can also assign relationship. Alt is pressed, and you move the part, especially the object where you have interest, to the location where you are going to create a mate. So now rivet library toolbox, then pins, rivets. Uh, I think this one's the guy, or this one, yeah, this one, sorry. Tubular, rivet, right click, create a part, size, three, and uh, type B, so a three, but what I see here, something 
very apart and strange. Uh, okay, it was on the. I think Solvox was giving some stupid error. Let's create the gain. I have a feeling I went a little bit fast. This one, create a part. And then, I don't know why it's looking like this. Let's change it. Okay, I think I did something wrong here, but I don't know. Size is 3, length 6, here grip length. So our plates are 2, 2. Then we need 4. Third component, this guy, and just if you bring him here, he will just assign a relationship. Mate, this guy and this guy. Good. What we're gonna do now? Control is pressed, and I just pull him again like this. Select this edge, select this plate. It's assigned. Same idea. Control is pressed, and I pull the location. Here I get automatically the mate edge versus surface. They have relationship. Good. Now it's the nicest place. Play part. I select three part, three rivets, front. I make. And sorry. I made a mirror. They will be mirrored here. Good. I select now three parts. Additionally, mirror and right plate. Plane and mirror. I again have my mirror and parts assembled and riveted. And assembly is completed. Everything uh, defined except my rivets. These are not so important. But normally what happens when you work with the drawings, if somebody comes and rotates these things and the orientation is changing and then your drawing needs to be updated. In fact, the best way, you constrain all of them. But yeah, it's a choice. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new in this video. If you like it, hit the like button, make a comment. Thanks. See you.